ever wonder how wigs are made for theater productions? At the American Players Theater, they're made by hand, one hair at a time. The process of making a wig, we first start with a head wrap. So this is actually the actor's head, the head shape, and all of the different things with the hairline on the front. And then we attach it, we take this and we transfer it onto a block, we draw out the lines of the hairlines, uh, and all that kind of stuff. And we do that, and then we build a cap from there. Uh, right now I'm finishing up the front, um, which is the part that is really, it's the fine work. So what I'm doing now is tying um, one or two hairs at a time. And it's on this lace that's called fronting lace. And once this is off the block uh, and on the actor's head, the lace actually disappears. You won't be able to see it even within a couple feet. And so we're just finishing this up and going to have a fitting with this at 4 o'clock today. We use all human hair uh, because we play outside in the weather and the synthetics tend to not hold up very well. And just like, you know, just like a regular human hair on your head, uh, the wigs will interact with the weather and the humidity will affect it and all that kind of stuff as well. We usually say on average that a wig should take about 40 hours, so a full work week. What physical repercussions does this have? Like, do your hands get cramped up or your eyes sore? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, these are my bifocals. Um, I think that as we all become more aware of repetitive injury, I know I'm really careful about stretching my wrist, sometimes your shoulders, and but you just have to be careful about it. Um, people can get carpal tunnel. 70 to 75 percent of it is finding a good position. You can see we all do it differently. Mm -hmm. I like my little stand here. Ralph has his feet up. Like Becky feet up. has that. So. It's really getting your zen and getting your position right, and then you can just go. But you do really. It's the same as being in front of a computer. You have to stop yourself, stand up, move around, stretch. Generally, the wig rooms tend to be the funnest room on campus, though. That's true. Anywhere. The loudest, the most fun. Certainly the longest.